You should take it to Linden. Like, okay. I don't remember where Linden is. <laughs> All right. Uh, what, what more did you have to say? I forgot who Linden is. Who's Linden? It's got to be somebody. Actually, it's the scoundrel, is it? Yeah, we'll take it back to the scoundrel. Tell me about your realization. I thought on what you said, and you may have been right. I'm always right. I can't bear the thought of another friend's death. Then you must bear the burden of a lonely life. And it is just as heavy, Hadrig. I suppose so. All right. I guess that's it for that. I want my sword back. Linden, you're the scoundrel, right? You're, you're Linden. They're not, they're not telling me that's Linden. Figured it would be. And I've reached a checkpoint? What? I reached a checkpoint in town? I joined a caravan of refugees heading to Bramwell, but we never made it there. Brigand slaughtered everyone. I ran into the forest and hid for days before I dared come out. How am I ever going to find my son? I guess I'll find him eventually. Clara, tell me about your children. Peter and Lara have been playing hide from the monster all day. Such imaginative children. I have not seen any children here. Yeah, they're dead. I said they were hiding, didn't I? They're, they're dead. They are dead. Are you Lyndon? No, you're Lorath. Tell me about Pandemonium. Deckard Kane wrote much about the Pandemonium Fortress. He kept meticulous notes, drew sketches, and even made some maps. But nothing matches what is there now. The fortress has changed so much since Malthael took over. Apparently it's changed a lot. Derek, where are you going? You don't understand. I'm no hero. Do you know why I was there? I ran away. From my unit, from my friends. While they died, I ran. But you saved me. That doesn't change anything. Nope, it doesn't. Okay, so I think I need to go back the long way since I kind of uh, just ran from what I was supposed to be doing. But I figured the Enchantress would kind of take me back. She didn't. Linden, there's no Linden here. I can't talk to Linden about shit. So maybe that'll happen afterwards, after we do something else that'll be important for something. All right, we get the long journey back and I get to look at the background this time. Look how awesome the background is here. It is definitely a destroyed pandemonium around here. All right, we made it back to Imperius. Wasn't there as bad is a as siege camp not far from I here. Right Meet me there and I will show you what must be done. A siege camp. Great, this is going to be longer than I thought. This is going to be a lot longer than I thought. If there's a siege camp. Hey, but we do have possibly new enemies here? We really shouldn't. It should be the same ones that we had encountered in Pandemonium last time, but if, holy crap. What the hell? We do not have the luxury of time. Okay, that was awesome. I will give you that. That was nicely were done. among the most fearsome soldiers of hell. Having grown accustomed to the taste of war, they remained in Pandemonium long after the last siege of the fortress ended. Now, they regard the realm as their own and terrorize any angels who venture onto the battlefield. That, that was awesome looking for this. Uh, what do we got? Pandemonium is a vast, chaotic realm and many demons remain scattered throughout it. In particular, the war-scarred marauders were unwilling to return to the Hells, and they have taken to pillaging the remaining angelic outposts in the battlefields. They may not be the most powerful of their kind, but they are clever and insidious, and no strangers to war. Is anything a stranger to war at this point? We've been at war for a long, long time. And these guys are still pretty tough. These guys right here, let me close that. These guys are still taking a lot of work for me, but I think I'm going through them a little bit more quickly than I used to. I think it was I think my damage output was up by like 14% by switching over to this. 
And as much as I said, I wouldn't want this one out of the three options that I had, sword and shield, two swords, or one giant sword. This is the one that didn't make the most sense to me. They they compensated by just giving me double uh, the stats, if, even though they gave me half the amount of magic. So it worked out better for me. So I'm gonna stick with it. Wait for it. Wait for it. All right. To be honest, I felt like I could have taken what they had spawned my way this thing. But Dimberius shows up again. Patience is not one of my virtues, Nephilim. Is he like legitimately mad at me for something that I should be doing differently? Or is he mad at me for something that I kind of have to do? Is that scripted anger? Just go destroy everything in your path. I definitely feel like I'm going to do a lot more quickly. Except for the fire wings. But of course it's hard to tell. Unless I can do apples to apples and, and, and I have new enemies so it's hard it's always hard to tell. Let's get rid of this guy. Just go as quickly as you can. Alright. See how quickly that goes through. Getting almost almost half a million on a crit. That's that's not bad. I'm I'm max level. And I'm almost doing what Buttercrust was doing at level 60. That is not a good sign. Oh dear god. We got a big bad enemy here. Belphegor, the Siege Runekeeper. do as much damage as we can. That is the goal. Yeah, I'm down to half already. I'm not even really focused on him. Ah, that a little more. That's alright. We're taking down this big bad guy. God. Are you kidding me? They just keep on bringing more, more enemies in? All right, here comes Imperius. <laughs> I, I got a siege rune now. That that's got to be important for something with with Imperius. Eventually, we will we will get to him and and he'll be happy with what I've done. But that is not this day. No way that goes. I'm not entirely sure why I need to do that, but I did. Still feel like I did the Enchantress's thing wrong. And we've made it to the siege camp! Here we can find more angel corpses. And a waypoint. Hold on, there is a chest. I want, I want to get the chest before I talk to you. And, and destroy all this. Okay, fine. No, there's like nothing else here. So let's fully explore this before they kick me out of here by having me talk to him. Sure. Grab whatever they, they'll, they'll give me at this point. Ascended armor. Not as good as what I have. About the past you would like to know? What were the barbarians We've like? talked about Do this. you see the battering ram below? Yes. That is the only way you can breach the fortress gates. What about elaborate ladders? But it is useless without the siege rooms that power it. You have one in your possession, but there are two more. You will find them on the battlefield below, imprisoned along with the demons that carried them. Once you have the runes, go to the ram. But know this, Nephilim. Even if you release Malfael from his madness, I will not thank you for it. I hate you and I'm stubborn. I do not want your thanks. What the hell was that? They, like, cut it in the middle of my line there. Okay, so... We need to get two more runes. How am I doing on space? Pretty good. Pretty good. Still holding on to my other weapons just in case, but this is working out pretty well as far as I can tell. What the hell are these? Mm. 
they level up apparently. I, w I was not fast enough. How are these things? Pandemonium is a harsh realm, and its inhabitants must be resourceful to survive. But none more so than the scavengers who armor themselves in the very rocks beneath their feet. They may appear as mighty giants to their foes, but a few hard strikes will reveal that their true form is much smaller. Yeah, I did see that. Hey, Morning Lord. Not all of the hazards of pandemonium lie above ground. The tunnelers roam just beneath the surface, breaking through to snatch prey in their enormous jaws. And my heroic friends ask why I wish to stay inside the fortress. <sighs> Those things can be quite deadly. If I remember right, these were uh, one of the things that were edited in the la last patch. I guess these guys won't show up in the... Uh, in like high level dungeons, optional dungeons anymore. Alright, what the hell's a barbed lurker? As in a lurker from StarCraft Lurker? They don't look the same. I suspect that the barbed lurker is part demon, for its appearance has an aspect far too sinister to occur naturally. It expels a noxious poison worthy of the hells. And from what I can tell, it will only feed on its own kind or the corpses of demons. One hopes it will never encounter a human. Then how did you learn about it if it never encountered a human? Alright, we got a big bad guy here. This is Grimok's Skull Crusher. He's... Uh, of course he is. It's like they know what works against me. And that is indeed frozen. Unless I'm Super Saiyan. Ah, uh, he's got a shit ton of health. Of course he does. See, see, gone? No. Can I do like extra bonus damage to him when he's not? It doesn't look like I can. Looks like it's. No, I definitely do more damage to him when he's not in his army state. Then. As you can see, the Enchantress is still doing well. I am not because I am frozen now. Yeah, that attacks me. Oh. No, before Frenzy runs out. Have I not gotten rid of his armor yet? Seriously? There we go. No! Damn it. Just do as much damage as I can by spinning and spinning and spinning. <laughs> Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe it wasn't frenzy that everybody swore by. Maybe it was bad. But it's too late now. I'm loving frenzy. Oh, come on. Hey, down he goes. And I got a design for an amethyst. I can't really afford that right now. Upgrading gems is very, very expensive. I think at the rate that I'm going now, I need 200,000 gold for each upgrade to like the second highest one of the things that I'm finding out in the world right now. That is going to take me a long time to deal with. Okay, so that's Frenzy. I'm going to try Bash, because I remember a lot of people liking that. Shockwave. Actually, this one sounds good. Let's try that. Bash Pulverize. We'll see how well that does. Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> Uh, it's not all that good, though. The damage, as you can see, is quite uh, similar to, to what we were doing with, with Frenzy. But... Uh, I don't know. I don't freaking know anymore. Um... 
Let's do punish. Oh, I can't change until this guy's dead. Let's try punish. You know, now that I have a different setup, I'm willing to try all these different skills. So you have to apologize while I kind of test things out. But hopefully you guys find it a little interesting to see, you know, something new every once in a while. Okay, that was 850 on a crit there. Because every move that I do after a bash does more damage. So that's something. Not, I don't know. I don't know. We might just stick with bash. Because I'm pretty sure that's what everybody was doing these days. Before it used to be frenzy. And I know I was always the crazy one for saying uh, cleave. But I always assumed that it would just do more damage that way. And I thought they had changed it so that all of them were supposed to be equal, but they always kind of keep that up a bit. Okay, down those all go. What do we have down here? The infested ruins. Don't look too bad or too big. So let's head in. Honestly, I would have gone in no matter what. And as I expected, there is, you know, a dungeon before we make it to Malthale, but this is proving to be a lot... I'm carrying too much. A lot bigger than I had anticipated. A lot more. I keep on going, hey, we're probably about halfway through now, and then it just keeps going and going. They, they definitely give you your money's worth here. You are not missing out on content in this expansion pack. This is the longest expansion pack that I think they've ever done. But I do need to go back to town now. And of course, making it back to town, there's a whole bunch of people that want to talk. What do you have to say Cormac, about the future? Deck of cards and a of Despite water. all of this, I find myself with hope for the future. And could that hope have anything to do with Irena? No. <clears throat> no, of course not. Um, I, mean, I, I do find her company stimulating. Uh, yeah, I do enjoy her unique way of looking at things, but you know, I mean... Um, <clears throat> No. It totally does. Perhaps you should talk to her about how you have left your vows behind. What? Uh, well, um, you know. <laughs> I mean, she is quite interesting. <clears throat> so, uh, <laughs> yeah, I suppose so. Perhaps I should. <laughs> Maybe. He's not going to do it. Do you have anything new to say, Enchantress? No. Oh, he has more to say already. He's going to talk to Irina. Maybe. Probably not. You, uh, mentioned that I should speak with Irena. I don't think I can do that. Well, if you do not, I am sure Lyndon will. It is Lyndon. What? That cad? Oh, she's already seen right through his lecherous ways. Surely he'd have no look. Would he? One can never know. I do not think you should give him the chance. You are a brave man, Cormac. I am sure you can do this. Go talk to her. Yeah, we'll see about that. That's not going to happen for a while. Looks like a whole bunch of people have things to say, though. All right, let's go talk to Lorath again. The people of Westmarch are starting to rebuild the city and bury their dead. Their strength is an inspiration. But there are children that witness their family being torn apart. Others climbed over piles of corpses to get to safety. What will they make of the world when they grow up? The city has scars that will linger for generations. Yeah. Things aren't going so well around here. Sergeant? Tell me about the shadow. I see death everywhere. Even when amongst the living, I see the specter of endless night. But you are different. Death's shadow surrounds you. It obscures all else. Satchel? Hey, more history. I thought we were done with this. The Zakarum Church always held an unhealthy sway in Westmarch, even after the ascension of rulers more interested in power than religion. When the true nature of the faith was finally exposed, however, it completely eroded any influence the church had over civil affairs. 
And rightly so, I might add. Right, of course. Let's start getting into religion and politics in this game. <laughs> 